Elizabeth Warren apparently is now speaking out about how she is a Native American. So she's speaking to the Native American uh, or Native Indian Conference of some such or, or other. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what exactly. It was the National Congress of American Indians. That's what it was. She made a surprise appearance at the National Congress of American Indians. Um, and, and apparently uh, she was just, she was incredibly great. I mean, she, she, was, she was just full on regalia. She showed up with the headdress. She showed up with the, with the smoke and peace pipe, the whole deal. And again, whenever I, I say things like this, it's not because I'm mocking Native American culture. It's because I'm mocking Elizabeth Warren for appropriating Native American heritage. Okay, so here's what she said to the Native American conference. Quote, by all accounts, my mother was a beauty. I, I know Elizabeth Warren, by the way, and uh, she is one of the more obnoxious humans on planet Earth. By all accounts, my mother was a beauty. She was born in eastern Oklahoma on this exact day, Valentine's Day, in February 14th, 1912. She grew up in the little town of Wetumpka, the kind of girl who would sit for hours by herself playing the piano and singing. My daddy fell head over heels in love with her, but my mother's family was part Native American, and my daddy's parents were bitterly opposed to their relationship. So, in 1932, when my mother was 19 and daddy had just turned 20, they eloped. Okay, so she doesn't provide any evidence, by the way, that she is of Native American heritage at all, like none, like zero evidence. And then she says, this is my favorite line, I get why some people think there's hay to be made here. You won't find my family members on any rolls, and I'm not enrolled in a tribe. Right? So she's openly admitting that she's not enrolled in a tribe, that you won't be able to find any of her family members on the Native American rolls. Remember, the record keeping for Native American heritage is extremely good. Right? It is very in-depth, which is why you can have situations where legitimately the government will come and take somebody who's a quarter Native American out of their foster home and bring them back to a reservation because of how good the rolls are. Right? But this is the best part. She says, quote, our stories are deeply woven into the fabric of who we are. The stories of immigrants and slaves, of explorers and refugees, have shaped and reshaped our country right up to the present day. For far too long, your story has been pushed aside to be trotted out only in cartoons and commercials. So I'm here today to make a promise. Each time someone brings up my family's story, I'm going to use it to lift up the story of your families and your communities. And that last line there, as Alex Griswold says at Free Beacon, right, that is called using the Native American community as your political human shield. Every time someone calls her Focahontas, every time President Trump botches it and calls her Pocahontas, every time that happens, she's simply going to shift it and say, Native Americans are so important. Native American heritage is so important. Never mind the fact that we call her Focahontas because she's been lying about her Native American heritage. I mean, she's as Native American as Sean King is black, apparently. And the idea that, that and Sean King, by the way, his, his father was white, his mother was white on the birth certificate. He says that his, his mom had an affair. There's no evidence uh, that any of this is true. The same thing is true of, of Elizabeth Warren. She suggests that she is Native American. There is no evidence that, at all that Elizabeth Warren is Native American. How much of a joke is her Native American heritage? It's such a joke that Elizabeth Warren used as evidence of her Native American heritage the fact that she had submitted a recipe to a cookbook called, I kid you not, Pow Wow Chow. Okay, that was the name of the cookbook. And the recipe that she actually submitted was a recipe for crab bisque. Okay, which it turns out she, she actually copied from a copy of Good Housekeeping or something. It turns out that crab bisque is not actually a Native American heritage thing because crabs are not wandering across the fruited plains of Oklahoma, which is where she is from. So uh, she, she's a joke. 